Oh, hey, how's it going? I know you're here. <laughs> hey, so, uh, today I'm making a video about a couple of things, I guess. Uh, not my usual, usually I don't. Um, review stuff or just talk about this stuff. It's usually camping is generally what I try to do my videos toward. Um, <clears throat> but today I'm going over what I what I use um, and I'm trying to make my, my videos better. And I look back at my videos and I know a lot of you, if you're subscribers or even if you're family members, whoever you are, and you watch uh, my videos, uh, you probably notice the sound always sucks. I always have some issue with the sound. I don't know if this is gonna be any better. Um, I've been slowly upgrading everything. Uh, I went from a GoPro 5 here. Um, and this is not a, this is a little cheap tripod type uh, deal anyhow. Anyhow, so a lot of my videos that I, I video, <clears throat> I'm videoing like this, you know, I'm just talking to the camera like you normally would. And just, even though this is soft and whatever you always hear every, every little movement i do like this i'm not sure if it's something i'm doing wrong is a gopro 5 do i just have have a faulty something other i don't know um either way uh it always makes noise i'm sure you've heard it it's always every time i even move around people have made comments even like keep, keep your hand away from the speaker my hand's nowhere near the speakers or microphone excuse me there's a microphone i believe right here uh, I think there's like three spots, maybe over here. I don't remember, but uh, it it sounds like I have it in a I don't know in a bag or something like that, a paper bag. It's just <laughs> sucks. Anyhow, now that little bit's out of the way. Uh, I just want to explain to everybody, and maybe in the comments, people could even say, "Tell me, what is it? Am I, am I doing something wrong? Is there a way to fix it? Is it? I don't know." So I, and I upgraded from the five to what I'm shooting on right now, which is the seven, five black to a seven black. Um, I've upgraded, I've got a couple different mics now. I have a mic that can connect to the side. I have a little bit nicer one that goes on top. Uh, and it has the dead cat and all that on there. And now I got this, I'm not, I mean, you probably keep seeing I keep playing with it because it's the uh, Rode, Rode wireless system. And uh, hopefully that sound good. Hopefully this comes out really good. I'm not just wasting time doing this. Um, but anyhow, so this is what it looks like. Uh, well, this is what my, system, my setup right now looks like. This is a seven. I got this uh, added on this little mount here so I can do three locations. I got a cheap light that recharges. And I got the road. That's the receiver. These things are pretty badass so far. I and mean, again, I haven't heard it yet, but if it works the way that the reviews have all shown. It's gonna be great. I bought this, uh, what you, how do you pronounce it? Ulanzi, Ulanzi case. So I can put the adapter that you have to have for these cameras in it, you know? And uh, so I don't know, Let's, we'll see how it works. I mean, this thing supposedly can go really far. Um, I'm gonna record with this also and maybe put some of this on there and see if it does any of that sound that I'm talking about, just from simply moving hand to hand, you know, turning around this direction. I mean, I don't hear anything, but this thing seems to pick up everything. It's horrible. That's why the wife let me buy this. <laughs> so the transmitter here, <clears throat> it's, I like it, and you can plug in, uh, what do you call it? Is it a, Lavelle or lapel or whatever it's called, little, which I'm probably gonna do eventually because the thing keeps turning and falling in my shirt and I don't like how it feels, so I keep touching it. Um, so anyhow, um, see what the difference sounds like. This is what it sounds like me talking through the wireless mic and I'm literally four, maybe five feet away. And this is what it sounds like me talking through the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Uh, this is more, this is a test for me too. I just want to see how this all sounds. Um, so the good thing about this, all right, get you out of the light, is how far you can go. I mean, it might be a little difficult during the summer when I'm you know, wearing 
not wearing shirts or whatever. Sorry, fix ya. Not wearing shirts and stuff, I don't know where to put it, but maybe I can put it down here. But the cool part is I can be doing something like maybe talking about my truck or doing something and get, you know, way back here and should hopefully, hopefully everything still sounds, hopefully everything still sounds good. So you can see I'm probably, uh, let's see, eh, about 20 feet away maybe. I don't know, 15 to 20 feet. I guess I should probably be able to get you down to the inches. Uh, you know, I'm a carpenter. Um, there's the truck. She's all pretty and clean. Uh, well, she's pretty and clean. I love how she looks, but uh, <laughs> all it takes is one whiff, whiff of wind and uh, covered in pollen. You look at her, she gets scratched. But anyhow, that's not what this video is about. Um, I'm going to take you back inside the house. Even this gorgeous as heck out right now. It's uh, the 17th of April. Uh, and it is gorgeous. I think it's supposed to be like 70 something today. I had to look at my phone. It's definitely going to be in the 70s right now. It feels like it's about 70 and it's only uh, 2 o'clock. Well, it's 2 o'clock. I guess it's not only 2 o'clock. Yeah. Makes me want to get the boat out. Makes me want to get the boat out, get the trailer out. Oh, look at that poor trailer. I haven't used her in so long. This is another thing. You know, I'm pointing the camera away from me, and hopefully I sound just as good because like, the mic's right on me. You know, got my beautiful little imagine sitting there, wondering why I haven't taken her out in so long. And then there's the boat. Still ain't been unwrapped for the uh, for the summer yet. So. I don't know. Anyhow, let's uh, go inside and uh, see what uh, what I what the things I got. Let's just show you guys what I got. I am so bad at this. This is another reason why I'm doing this. Uh, I'm horrible. I'm horrible at speaking. I guess I don't think it out. Uh, I don't know. I just some of you, some of the other YouTubers I watch, uh, you guys are real good at it. Good at editing. Good at uh, <laughs> talking. Uh, you're interesting. Uh, so I'm going to keep trying to make myself do this because I feel really uncomfortable and really odd speaking to a camera. And then I really hate editing because I, I don't know, maybe most people are the same. I'm not sure. Uh, I hate looking at myself. <laughs> I hate listening to myself. Uh, so anyhow, I'm going to keep working on it. I'm working on uh, keep adding, making better stuff. Next camera, I need to get a good camera. These are good cameras. I need to get a camera that I can... Uh, video or take pictures and can zoom in because there's a lot of times that I have uh, I don't know, I can see an eagle in the distance. I can see clearly, you know, or or the mountain or whatever in the distance It looks gorgeous, but the GoPros just don't pick that stuff up as I'm sure most of you know uh, They're great for some things and not for others But this is what I choose to go with this was a Christmas present from the wife like I don't know three or four years ago I don't remember this one was uh, gifted to me also from uh, my mother-in-law uh, she likes when I call her mom, uh, Belinda. So, and uh, I gotta keep upgrading a little bit here and there. Uh, the, the microphone, finally my wife uh, let me get this because she was tired of hearing the, the annoying noises. And if I keep touching it, probably keeps making bad noises, huh? Anyhow, like I said, I upgrade. I got the light. That's gonna hopefully help a little bit. Um, the big One of the biggest things I finally got was uh, a computer that can do actual editing. Uh, MacBook Pro, a 15 inch screen, I think it is. Um, and it has iMovie already installed in it. And that's what I use because that's what I know how to use a little bit. And uh, it's a lot better than my old videos. Most of my videos up to this point have really been done on my phone or my tablet and they don't have all the options. So uh, yeah, it's much better. Uh, take you inside and I'll show you a few of the things I got and uh, go from there. Okay, so uh, here I am in my studio. Now, our dining area, um, which I use as my studio. Um, so, like I said, got the GoPro 5. My son's watching me, laughing at me, waving at me. Uh, GoPro 5 
on the little tripod. I like this a lot because again, it's small. You can, uh, you know, you can. It's just nice and convenient. I just the sound part sucks. And I'd probably buy another case like that with another microphone adapter and another microphone just so I can have them both because the audio sucks. Uh, then I got this thing. I think this is for the uh, GoPro Max or something like that. But it, I don't know why it would be just for that. It works great for my regular GoPros. You know, it's got the tripod also. Uh, and then if you, if I can remember, I don't know. Woo! I'm an idiot now. This is perfect timing. I had no problem with this before. What the hell? So yeah, this opens up like a tripod, which is really nice. It's you know fairly small, you know, a little bit bigger than the, than this bad boy right here, but it extends. Whew, look at that. Turn it, click it, turn it, click it. So you can, uh, you know, get a little bit better video like that. So this is uh, one of the ones I like a lot too. Uh, the uh, oh. The GoPro, or the GoPro, the road deal I got here. It keeps falling down, I don't like that. Also comes with a little wind muff, a little caterpillar thing. Wind muff, yeah, I guess it's a wind muff. Um, I also have one of these, which, you know, can either attach on the side, whatever. But I got this backpack, which is really kind of cool. And I bought this uh, strap, this thing connects to it so I can Attach my GoPro. I got this actually for Hawaii and never actually used it, unfortunately. Still haven't used it yet. But it's got little side pockets. I'm not gonna get into the details of a backpack. It's cool. It's got a good setup. Good setup for everything. Uh, this is the mic that I, uh, I'll show you this setup here in a minute. But it basically sits on the top of, uh, on top of the camera. Oh, I got a, cheap knockoff version of one of these bad boys. And I got, I got uh, a floaty, so I can do my water shots. What else do I got? I got this, this thing is awesome actually, but I think a while back when I was camping, I was using it to film. And so it's cool, you know, obviously it's another selfie type thing. You can adjust a lot with it. But the cool thing I liked about it a lot is it also had the tripod. There used to be a tripod connected to the bottom of this thing that you could put in, screw the opposite way, and it would sit. And I think, uh, unfortunately, I was drinking, and that's the only thing I think of, and somehow I lost it when we went camping one time, and I have no idea where it's at. So, I don't have that anymore. Well, I have that part. I got the chest, the chest mount. Uh, I only tried using it once, I believe, maybe twice. Uh, it sucks. Went to Hawaii, if you've seen that Hawaii video, and went to do parasailing. So I was like, ah, sweet, put this on, and I hooked it all up. I was freaking stoked to get some really great footage there. And didn't take the time to get it set up right, so the whole time the video was facing up, so all you could see is part of the kite and the strings, and it was just a basic wasted video, which really bums me out. Um, should have used this, the head mount. This, this thing is what I should have used, but I was afraid that maybe somehow it'd fall off and I'd lose it. I don't know, I was just scared. Um, but when I was there, uh, the boat we went on had a, a woman and two younger children. And uh, after you know, she, we were done, we were talking on the boat and uh, turns out, I guess she's one of the, her channel is one of the largest out there. It's called uh, Ninja Kids or something, Ninja Kids. I forget what, it's, something like that. I'm blanking. Anyhow, I went and looked at it. Yeah, she's got like a, millions of subscribers, I believe, if I, if I remember correctly. I don't know. It's not really my cup of tea. Uh, I guess definitely suited more toward little kids, but man, I guess you find the right niche and you're good. So I, I met a super Uber tuber. Super Uber tuber. Super Uber tuber. Anyhow, uh, moving on. This is another, this is a 
basic case that comes with it. But uh, I bought this little piece right here that attaches to the top. And it's pretty cool. It holds the, uh, the microphone adapter deal that you gotta have. But you can, it has a horseshoe thing on top so you can put a microphone on top. And then of course, if you have the deal connected to that. And this is what I probably set up I wanna use with this one as soon as I can afford to buy another uh, microphone adapter because again, it's what, like 50 bucks. Just trying to justify it. To me, it's justifiable to try to justify it. God, this thing, I hope my video is not sucking because this thing keeps turning in and that's where the microphone is. So if it keeps turning in and you're hearing butt noise, that's just, <laughs> that's just the way things go for me. So we'll see, I guess. Anyhow, I want to have two setups. I want to have a setup like the one you're looking at and I want to have another one on here. So if I'm doing one thing or the other, I have options. So yeah, you can hook this on here. And uh, if that uh, deal is in there, the uh, adapter, you can also, instead of connecting this to it, whatever side it is, you can connect this to it. Again, a lot of options. This thing comes off if I don't need the, the dead cat. Poor little kitty, who killed that kitty? That poor little dead kitty. Pardon the goofiness, that's just me. Got a little clip one. I haven't used a lot of these, but this, oh, this one can be used for a phone. Bada boom, hey! Or you can take this off, it spins off, and you can put a regular GoPro mount on it. A little extender, so if you need it extended, I guess. I don't know, I haven't used it. Is that? Oh. Another item I bought for Hawaii and I used it. I definitely used it with this bad boy uh, for uh, doing the water, the water shots when I was scuba diving and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Again, you can put a light up here, a microphone here, you know, get this on here so you don't lose it. It's made out of like aluminum or something. It's pretty nice. I like this a lot. Oh, and what else? Oh, I bought another one of these cases because uh, originally this case, uh, the part that clips, not this one, the one that is on here, the part that opens right here, it kind of broke. So it doesn't clip very good, it wasn't secure, so I bought an aftermarket one, which is okay. It works, I haven't used it but a couple times. But, and then, I got, where it is this? <laughs> I got one of these uh, GoPro remotes. I could work on either either camera. And I thought this would be good to have because I want to start getting more of those shots. Uh, gosh, this thing. Uh, okay. We get more of those shots of, uh, you know, with uh, maybe one of the cameras, probably my older camera. You know, on top of the truck, maybe looking back at the the trailer or one on the trailer looking down and I don't want to get up and hit start and so I can just be driving along and be like, oh, this would be a good shot right here. Just record, stop recording. You can change the settings on here. You can turn it on and off, I believe. And it's got a little Velcro deal. Bada boom. Well, it does, it goes around your wrist. It's also nice even when I'm doing the inside the inside the truck those drives you know showing the shots of the scenery and whatnot, uh, so that I don't got to keep reaching forward while I'm driving and turning it turning it on and turning it off. I can just beep beep. So that's for the most part the most of basically what I got. Um, you know one thing about this backpack that could be cool is it has a cord so that you can connect one of these power banks on the inside of it. And then right here on the side, it's got an area you can plug in power. If you need to charge something, plug it in here and charge it without having to pull one of these out every time. And a little microphone thing too. So I guess if you have your, you know, your phone or whatever in there and you're listening to music, you have that option without having to hold it. So that's kind of cool. That is just what I got. 
hopefully you're not. Hopefully you're still listening, you're tuned in and interested and this isn't driving you crazy. I, I can't wait to hear what this sounds like. Um, hopefully it's not annoying because I know it is. Anyhow, and then the final thing I got, which I don't use that much because I'm a chicken, is uh, my Karma drone. And so, I don't know, just like people have preferences on cars and whatnot, whatever. Uh, there's probably some, probably some evil children out there or something she likes to kill whenever she can. Anyhow, um, with the GoPro Karma drone, We doing? The Go GoPro Karma drone. I chose this drone, and here's the story behind it. Uh, I liked it. I wanted it. I knew. I checked out. Watched a thousand videos on the DJI, the Phantom, the I can't remember them all. You know, there's so many different ones, but I know the most popular ones that everybody uses, and. I wanted to stick with GoPro. One, I just, I like the look of it. Straightforward, I like the look of it. I think it looks, it's, I just like the look of it. I like the case that it comes in. I like the controller not having to use your phone or a tablet. I just, I like it. Um, and the videos I watched on it at the time, you know, they had the problem with the battery initially and then they fixed that. And uh, it had been out for a little while and I, I didn't want to buy it and then have the next version of it come out that was better and I was going to be bummed because I couldn't buy another one. So I kept waiting, 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 checking, and all of a sudden I see that they decided to discontinue it. They were not going to try to keep up in that part of the market, I guess. Uh, and I was like, oh man, bummer. And maybe I should have at that point gone with a uh, one of the other ones. But the thing I like about this is, first of all, I got a pretty good discount. I think it's normally, I, I hate trying to give numbers when I don't know by heart, but I know it's something like it's normally like 900 or something like that depending with or without the camera anyhow i got it for dirt cheap i think i think i want to say i got it for god like i think 400 maybe 500 maybe less i don't remember anyhow and the thing about it is you know it's got it comes with all this stuff the drone alone to me is worth the money but then i mean at the time i didn't have this new seven which has great stabilization i haven't really used it much but i know from watching videos and reviews so i wanted a uh, gimbal and this came with a gimbal this gimbal alone i think was two or three hundred dollars if you buy it by itself so turn it on it's got no camera in it but it should still turn on i think battery's about battery's dead of course there you go anyhow so i figured i'm getting a drone if you Bought this for two, three hundred dollars, and that would be I got the drone for you know two, three hundred dollars. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. Uh, the other reason I did it with that version is because I want to turn on. There it is. It's about to die though. It's weird. It's making weird vibrating noises. I've never seen that before. Maybe yeah, there's no camera in it. Uh, anyhow, I'm losing track of thought and probably losing you. Um, turn it off. I like the idea of not having, I don't know, I'm still new at this and I was definitely new when I bought this. And I didn't want to have different SIM cards and try to get information from one camera and from another drone and I want everything to be the same. So Bill used my one camera to film myself and then put into the there and it all be on one one format, one camera, and I just, I like the thought of that. Like the one, the thought of one camera, all the information, now I got two. And uh, so, anyhow, it, it, it's great. It's got so many good things. It's got follow me, you know, it's got orb, it'll go in circles around you, it'll do a zip line. It's got five or six pre, pre-done things and it will follow you. I haven't got to use the follow me mode besides walking. I want to use that uh, following the truck and trailer or something sometime. I think that's a really neat, neat picture to see the whole picture. Um, but you know, that's, that's it. I mean, I thought it was a good deal for the price. Um, I still love it. I, again, I scared to death of losing it. <laughs> so I don't go very far and take some of the great pictures I'd like to, cause uh, I'm thinking, dude, if that thing goes down, the camera and the drone, I'm basically losing 
was equivalent to about a thousand dollars and I just if it goes in the water oh, I want a video I want it to follow me while we're wakeboarding on the boat or tubing or just cruising around the boat I think that would be some more really good footage uh, but I haven't done it yet because if it goes down or if some reason something goes wrong and it returns to home and it goes to land in the water then bye bye drone so anyhow that's uh, oh yeah so we got that and then what did I do and then here is the uh well, it's nothing to look at. I'm not going to show it to you. It's nothing big. It's just, you know, I got my MacBook Pro. Um, and it's, I'm not used to being Mac. I've had Windows my whole entire, whole entire life. Even when I was a baby. No, just kidding. Uh, yeah, I've all I've had is Windows. And I'm not great at Windows. I know how to use it. I have no problem with it. And Mac is different. Definitely different. So, taking some getting used to on how to do some things. Um, and I'd like to upgrade to better editing software someday. But uh, I don't want to spend the money, one, and I don't know. I'm maybe not the smartest cookie in the world. I, I'm still trying to figure out how to edit with this thing sometimes, you know. Um, some of the things I see you other, you other YouTubers do. Um, so any hints, tips, anything you want to talk to me about, put it in the uh, comments. Um, really appreciate any thumbs up you guys give me. Uh, any subscription, anybody subscribing or tell people maybe and get them subscribed. I'd love to up the numbers a little bit. I see some, some videos from some YouTubers and I'm not, you know, teach their own and they're not that great of quality, not that great of content. And they have hundreds and thousands of subscribers and they get thousands of views. And I just, I don't get what they're doing that I'm not doing besides things like this can't, this thing is, oh boy. I know this is going to be a great thing, but this is not working. I'm going to have to get one of those wire connect a speaker keep it down here and run a speaker a little small mic that's not gonna keep falling and doing stupid shit anyhow I'm trying to think of anything else I want to say maybe I'll try taking the drone out I don't lately hasn't gotten any having trouble connecting to satellite or something like that I don't know why so I hate flying without that um, but I'll see if it works. Maybe if it does, I'll just take uh, some quick video. I have the batteries charged. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, let's see what we got going. And uh, again, thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Um, videos are going to hopefully get better. I'm spending money and getting presents uh, to keep making the equipment better. Um, and I'm going to, editing is going to hopefully get better. If I can ever figure out the biggest problem, which is the sound quality and uh, me talking, you know, getting used to talking. It's just even when my son or wife or anybody walks in the room, I just feel stupid. I feel like <laughs> I feel like they think I'm an idiot. So a lot of you, you guys are really good at it. Uh, well, I think, what's uh, some of my favorite? I could talk to why we worked last night. Um, dude, he's great at it. He's like a professional. Um, Air, air condition, uh, campfires and air conditions, same thing. That guy is great. He's, he's, I enjoy watching him. Very hilarious. Uh, but he's, he's camera friendly, man. He's natural. Uh, and, uh, uh, blanked, oh, uh, Colorado camper man. Uh, is probably one of my favorites. Um, he hasn't made a whole lot of videos lately, so hopefully he'll get back out there and camping. Those are the ones I like. And I watch him because I live vicariously since I, I'm unable to get out due to one reason or another. Uh, uh, probably excuses more than anything. I just need to grab them and go. Anyhow, hey, thanks for watching. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. I know it's not the greatest video. I'm just trying to, again, get used to doing this. It's new to me still. And just trying to get more comfortable behind the camera. And uh, hopefully my new equipment is going to help make a difference. So, until next time... Same bat channel, same bat time.